Now, whether you keep up to date with AI news or not, you've probably heard that OpenAI, the people behind ChatGPT, have announced the newest version called GPT-4.0. Oh, since it was released, I've had quite a few people message me saying, why haven't you made a video about this? This is awesome. This is right up your alley. What's going on? OpenAI released a whole load of super impressive video demonstrations showing the very latest things it can do. And I'll show you an example of one of the features later in the video. Previous versions, just like ChatGPT-4 on its own, if you spoke to it, it would use something else like Whisper to convert that into text and then respond with text, whereas 4O can understand audio on its own. If you ask ChatGPT4 to create you a picture, it calls Dali, another third party, and it creates that picture and gives it back to you. The big deal about this 4O release is that O stands for Omni, and it's got, as well as text, it's got images, it's got video, and it's got audio all built into the same model. It can do it all on its own. This means it's quicker, it can combine things in different ways, it can give better responses, it's just generally a massive upgrade. Now last week OpenAI released a whole load of video demos that showed all of the awesome stuff that 4O can do. In this new version, when you talk to it, it responds to you in a voice that it purposefully stutters and pauses and shows emotion and, and sounds just like a real person. What do you call a giant pile of kittens? I don't know. What? A mountain. <laughs> a mountain? That's perfectly hilarious. It's like talking to an actual energetic, understanding person. The demos also showed it being able to see the world through the video camera in a phone and telling the user what's happening in real time. They showed it describing the world to a blind man and even told him when it saw a taxi was approaching for him to hail it. It's heading your way on the left side of the road. Get ready to wave it down. And finally, the new way it generates images solves the biggest problem in AI image generation, and that's text. You can always spot an AI generated picture if it's got text in, because the text is just gibberish. Would you please, subscribe BC. <laughs> if you want text in an AI picture, you normally have to Photoshop it afterwards. But with the new 4.0 model, there's a whole heap of examples where it writes solid, legitimate text right into images. They've fixed it, they've cracked it. It really is incredible and mind-blowing and awe-inspiring and every other flowery description you can think of. It's truly magnificent. And because of this, they've had a bumper number of signups for the paid version of ChatGPT. But the thing is, what they didn't make obvious in all the announcements is that aside from accessing the new 4.0 model through the text interface and being able to talk with it, none of the cool things I've just listed are actually live yet. And even when you do speak to it, yes, it's cool, you can talk to the new model and it will give you better insights into things, but it's still the relatively monotonous voice it's used for a while compared to the really kind of emotional one in the demos. And at least on Android, even if you signed up to the beta program like I am, so you get to try the very latest features first, there's still no way to show it video. And if you ask it to draw something, it's still calling Dali 3, the image generator that it's used for a while, which can't do text still. So I don't want to regurgitate all of the video demonstrations that are live on the internet now for anyone to see back to you. I wanna wait until I can actually get my hands on it and show you what it can do. So all in all, a lot of people are feeling pretty let down after seeing the phenomenal video demos and then signing up and wondering where all the awesome promised stuff is after they've parted with their cash. It just wasn't made very clear in the demos it's not available yet. Basically, it's just been one massive <coughs> tease. And to be fair, I can completely understand why they'd want to show all the awesome stuff it can do even if you can't use it yet. They've got so many competitors breathing down their necks coming up with their own AI models that can do things, they need to stay ahead. And they've got to sort out the technical problems like being able to deal with people live streaming video all at once to GPT-4.0 in order to say what's going on. That's a technical nightmare. But in the meantime, I've been thinking up some really interesting demos we can do for when I finally get my hands on it. And, and I apologize in advance for how giddy I'm gonna be. <laughs> So not to end on a negative note, I'll quickly show you how good the new version is at looking at and understanding pictures. I gave it this picture of me and I asked it to roast me. You know, like when you ask someone to say something constructively cruel but funny. It said, all right, here we go. Looks like your idea of a wild Friday night is organizing your RGB lighting and admiring your desktop wallpaper. Your expression says, I just finished updating my computer's drivers and I'm ready to take on the world of solitaire. That YouTube plaque is probably from a YouTube channel about organizing cable management. <laughs> so the new version is sassy. Combine that with a voice that's got emotion and I think, I think some people are actually gonna be falling in love with this. I'm not kidding. So that's why I've not made a video about GPT-4.0 yet. Although I suppose I just have. 
So please hit the like button and subscribe to Yachty Laboratories to see me absolutely lose my mind when all of these features are finally available. Honestly, when I watched the OpenAI video demos, it, it sent a shiver down my spine. What they're about to release is gonna take us to a whole new level of interaction with people and computers. It's going to be crazy. I don't think people realize how big a deal this is gonna be. See you next time.